another episode of TBL. I am Nancy, your host, and today I am right outside of the Magnolia Train Depot, so I'm going to take you inside and show you around. This is super cute, you guys. Oh my gosh, look. I don't know if that one back there is part of the exhibit, but we're gonna find out. Okay, friends, look here. This is super cute, and I must love you a lot because I am out here filming for you guys, and it is super hot out here. It is over 100 degrees out here, but I wanted to stop right here and show you. I was going around here with mom, and it looks like this place is from like the 1940s. We're learning a little bit more as we go along, but this is another side, and it's just super cute, and I wanted to show you. Okay, you guys, I'm going to show you, but right over there, it's a Mexican restaurant. So if you're traveling to Magnolia and you come and travel to the depot and it's hot like it is right now and it's over 100 degrees, you can walk on over and have a margarita. Check this out. This looks like it's like a little barber shop. I took a look inside. It's like a, a mini Magnolia. Back in the day with the train depot, the barber shop right behind me, there's a small post office right over there that I'm going to show you. And then over here on this side, they have some other gardens and it looks like a little church, so let's go see. I bet you in this post office it used to take you two weeks to send a letter from Texas to Oklahoma. Let's go in the shade and tell you what's going on. It is silly hot in here. And even silly hot doesn't even, it's uh, at least 107. But it looks like it's closed. I looked online and it said that it was open on Saturdays, I believe from like nine to four. Let me see what time it is. It's 12.46, I don't know, it might be lunch. So we'll see in 15 minutes. If somebody comes but I'm still gonna film out here and show you guys because I just think it's super cute and I just want you to see it right here this little stage from what mom says they have little get-togethers where you can listen to country music and hang out of course that's the sawmill does the sign the sawmill <laughs> But I'm gonna get a closer look 
at this. That is super cool, you guys. Can you imagine having to cut wood and make furniture and everything that we have now using this equipment that I'm going to show you? That's, that's amazing. I cannot imagine working in a sawmill. That had to be some serious hard work for the people that had to use that equipment. Okay, friends, that's a good thing about having a GoPro that I was able to stick it in there and show you what's inside because, I don't know, I guess it's too hot to open. I don't know what's going on, but it's still cute. We're still enjoying it. The Magnolia Depot was built in 1902 by the International and Great Northern Railroad. This depot served as a major shipping point for cotton, sweet potatoes, and other produce, cattle, and lumber from area farms and sawmills. The depot closed in 1963 and was auctioned off, used as a barn for many years. It was recovered in 1993 and moved back to Magnolia, where it was restored within yards of its original site. It remains an excellent example of an early 20th century train depot. Notable features include elements of folk Victorian architecture, such as pedimented doors and windows, roof brackets, and clipped gable ends. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. I am I'm just sweating. Y'all are just gonna have to deal. And this was a recorded Texas historic landmark in 1999. I am sweating up a storm, you guys. You can probably see it. Oh, it's so cute. Let me see if I can stick the camera. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> Stay hydrated when it's hot. Oh, look, there's a bell. The British are coming. <laughs> the British are coming. <laughs> I know, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Let's open, see what's in there. Let's hope it's not a snake. This was definitely super cool. It would be probably a little bit better when it's not over 100 degrees outside, but it was amazing. Nonetheless, I really enjoyed it. That little train depot is super cute. This was amazing and I love finding out about a little history of little places, little towns that I get to visit and seeing cute little things like this and bring it to you. I hope you have enjoyed it and I will find another little town or another little cool attraction to bring to you. Now we're on the top level where, where we were from the sawmill down there. So all in all, I wish it would have been open. So hot. That would have been a good experience. I would have liked to hear more about the history, talk to someone to hear more about the exhibit here. But all in all, it was super cute. I loved it. And like I said, there's a Mexican restaurant right next door where you can go and hang out and have a margarita afterwards. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. This has been another episode of TBL. Don't forget to like this video and leave me in the comments. Let me know which one was your favorite. I think I kind of like the post office, but the barber shop was also super cute. So let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to stay hydrated and we'll see you on the next one.